December the 10th, 2019. Islam, um, this morning I exercise. Felt pretty well. In Monty Gray Heights today, I exercise as well. So um, we did this all before we came to earn money at Burger King. We had a wonderful fruit smoothie. Um, it was all fruit, um, grapes, um, and other. Um, um, I think it was cantaloupe, grapes, pineapple, and black Islam. Okay. Hi. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm well. I was gonna call you yesterday, but I, I um, I rested yesterday. I'm well. Um. Well, around my um, at American Extended Stay, you it um. In reference to what you was, um, what you saw the video about, um, well, I can tell you this morning, um, it was interesting. I, like I was telling you, I still hear uh, like males or females speaking outside around the room with different accents, but um, some of the black and the, but the thing is, you know, I'm in the room with Imani Gray. We get dressed there. Um, it's, it's it's so close, like almost like there's a mic in the room. Um, and all of a sudden, as I was um, walking around um, trying to get dressed or money, we exercised this morning and everything. Um, um, Mel, like a robot, was speaking outside and around the room. And um, the lights, the whole lights went out. It seemed like in the whole building. Now, literally like a robot. Like, they, like you know how I told you some, like there's some type of Mel or something like that saying, I love you brother and something like that then all of a sudden all the lights just blinked off at american extended stay I'm, no literally as i was because i was thinking about the wayne baffle bay um because you know i posted a lot of information about um just sending uh, dedicating music to um Dwayne, and um we're um we're working on our relationship and um, literally, like, um, uh, Mel was talking, um, like, sort of, um, like, outside and around the room this morning after we got through, um, Imani, Imani had left, and I was walking around looking for a shirt to wear, and, um, the, and out, yeah, and all of a sudden the whole, yeah, and you know some, right, and you, yeah, and you know some, there, is, there are experiments that exist that um, the government used to control technology. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's, that's the thought, right? <laughs> so that, no, they can never be considered natural divine being because there's some type of an experiment connected to technology. They, how can they be considered natural? They, they're using them to breathe. <laughs> uh, you know, what are you, how can they be considered natural? Yeah, no, the whole thing just blinked off. Like, it, and then all of a sudden it stopped. There was no one talking outside and around the room. I continued to put my, my shirt on because I was actually, uh, my chest was out and everything. I was getting dressed in the room. No, there's no one on the lease at American Extended Stay except for me, um, Dwayne Bathel Bay. He's able to visit anytime he wants to. And uh, um, Imani. Oh, uh, there it is. Come on, bring it out. Yeah, you missed a whole lot of stuff. I didn't miss. Yeah, I mean, I didn't you, go you, anywhere, you, but I do. You, you missed it. That's right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I thought that was odd. Uh, While well, I was earning, um, not uh, working out on the um, treadmill. 
Okay. Well, I was, yeah, I did, but um, we continue to exercise because health is important. Uh, yeah, the um, Warsh American National Public, um, one of the things that they encourage is um, physical health, um, eating according to the chemistry of your body, know thyself. Prophet Noble Jali encourages us to learn ourselves, know thyself, and um, mental health is connected. So, yeah, um, so exercise is included in that. Yes, yeah, so I was exercising. Yeah, and definitely I was hearing something like somebody was like, I don't know if they were outside or whatever, like through the vents. Yeah. So it it was it was really interesting to um, hear this. See, I mean, literally there was like a male outside. That, like they were. It sounded like a robot. Like it was angry. It had like a, a accent. Um, some of them have Spanish accent um, or um, like a span. I can't say, but some of, or African American accent or pale skin. But definitely, um, it was the male. I can't tell you that at that moment. I can't really tell you because I was too busy trying to get dressed. Yeah, but but those are the main accents that um, usually that's outside and around the room. And those are the main um, residents of American Ascendant State that I've seen. I don't know for sure. They're usually they're pale skin, um, Spanish speaking, or um, that which, unless they claim a nationality. I don't know their nationality. They look to be African American or Negro or, or should I say black or African American. I don't know. So I don't know. I truly do. Oh, oh yeah, in the United States Navy and Army. I've seen them um, at American Ascendant State too many times to count. So, okay, uh, what well, today is so so far is really good. Um, I came in, yeah. Um, let me go because I I yeah. Well, uh, safety is important. It's uh, this is an industrialized country. The thing is, when you're dealing with those that are dealing with a spiritual um, acts of terrorism, that's hard to be. That's hard to prove. So th what they do is they you, you have those that um, have thought process of an animal, and they behave like an animal, and so spiritually they um, do things like a beast. And but how can you prove that unless you have it on camera, right? So if they can get so comfortable of stalking and um, doing things that are um, that are um, horrific mentally spiritually and it can't be seen on camera then eventually if they um they get so comfortable they might try to um approach i said this before yeah yeah on the physical plane and um do the exact same thing whether it's spiritual um molestation rape whatever yeah and that's where the the constitutional the right to bear arms Yes, that's that's when you learn physical, you, you can learn, uh, yeah, it was difficult if they have the ability to send sharp pains, right? Like, like, uh, like yeah, like a beast, if they have the ability to send sharp pain um, and cause harm um, through your cranium and they trying to um, rape spiritually, like you know that is really that's it's, it's truly, that's truly, that, that is truly like, that is a beast mentality. That is literally a beast, and then and, and right, and then start saying "I love you," we're married. That is a that's a true beast mentality. That's an animal mentality. That that's not even that wouldn't even be considered civilized according to dog society, according according to canine society. I'm using my tablet as well. <laughs> I throw it away in a trash can somewhere. That is literally, that's sick. And you see why? Islam. That's that's an animal state of mind, literally. Well, I, well, I don't know. Literally, I don't know. Uh, what the, but it is what it is. And that's and that is exactly what we're among when you deal with spirits that are unclean. I just need something to eat.
Yeah, they. I would say um, they would probably, you know, have the same um, behavior. The same behavior, uh, same thought process, same everything. You know, collaborating all together. What, what, uh, okay, well that you saying that's why the government quarantine them? Yeah, it's a slow process. Yeah, I have faith. It's long. Yeah, because they'll start. Yeah, they'll start after they send sharp pains and molest. They'll start saying how they love you. That is, that's an animal. That's a beast, for real. They gotta say, yeah, they gotta, yeah, I know. And then they start saying it's a culture. We have a culture. An animal, a beast, got a culture. <laughs> yeah, well, they have enough intelligence not to approach you on, on the physical plane, though. Yeah, exactly. They know they know not to do that because they know if you have a fair firearm or you can call the police to press charges for harassment. But they have a culture. That's no culture. That's an animal. That's a freak of nature. <laughs> That's not a, yeah. Trying to demonstrate and um, impersonate civilization, but it's not. Yeah, they have yeah, exactly. No, I, I don't know who it is outside and around the room um, talking, but they definitely, whoever it is, they don't approach me when I'm out. Yeah, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. You know that. Yeah, so I mean, I told you know the more so I speak with the more as I text and so forth. You know about the way, but yeah. So um, they they have enough intelligence uh, to. Um, to not approach you on the civil on the physical plane because they know that um, charges can be done uh, um, towards them. They know lawfully what can happen, and if you are able to carry a firearm according to your constitutional right, and you try and defend yourself, then you can um, you do what you have to do. Islam. That's the importance of being a constitutional foe, so you can use your firearm to protect yourself. Islam. Yeah, that's exactly what it ha what it comes what it comes down to sometimes. Man. That's sad. That's really sad, right? Every every um, city has a gun store where you can get firearms, but you have to prove that you're psychological stable and you and definitely um, being in a constitutional fold, you have rights to um, carry it. Yeah, well, I would, yeah, if you know, years ago, you probably would have, yeah, you, we, yeah, more, yeah, more Americans would have, yeah, definitely. Protect their women, their children, their, their men. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Freaks. Animals. Yeah. Okay, talk to you. No, okay. <laughs> Bye. Allah.